I recently got a call from a customer that had a MIDI event that was aligned to the grid and they wanted to match this MIDI event to an imported audio file that wasn't aligned to the same grid and had varying tempos. So if we listen to our MIDI pattern, we have a simple four and a floor kick pattern. And then if we listen to our audio file, let me let you, know what you hear that it's not lining to the click track. And if we play these both together at the same time, it's going to sound bad. Let me let you know what I'm about and what is in, what is outside. So to make the MIDI pattern that's on a grid follow the timing of the audio file, what we need to do is first to select the MIDI track and we're going to lock it directly here from the inspector. Select the audio event, go to your project menu, and we'll go to tempo detection. We're gonna do a quick analysis, and this will automatically create a tempo map as well as a signature track. So I'll move my tempo map directly up here. So if we listen to this now, I'll mute the kick drum. Let me let you and we turn on our click. So we've extracted the tempo for the song. I'm going to, at this point, unlock the MIDI track after selecting the MIDI track. And we we see that we probably have a pickup note here. So, let me let you... so our downbeat is actually gonna fall directly here with a pickup note. So as it does the tempo detection, it figures out by beat. So it's not going to assume that you're in three, four, 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 five, four. So we need to define the downbeat by clicking on the downbeat with our pencil tool. And now we can say this is our pickup note and this is where the first downbeat of the song is. And I'm going to move the MIDI event. And if we have snap turned on by hitting the letter J, this can automatically just snap directly to the first bar. Now, as we listen to this, I'm going to copy this pattern multiple times. And now we'll see that the MIDI events are still aligned on a grid and the grid is now extracted directly from the timing of the part. So we'll listen let to it. Let you know what I'm about and what is in, what is outside in the cold. I walk alone to my own beat and when we So now you can see how easy it is to align pre-existing MIDI events to the grid based on the timing of an imported audio file. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.